Okay, in this video, I would like to talk about how to distinguish the change in quantity demanded and change in demand. So I would like to distinguish these two concepts by drawing a graph. Here is the graph. I put the quantity on horizontal axis and I can put a price on vertical axis. The demand curve will be downward sloping, right? And you can notice here, I can mark two points on this demand curve. The first point is point A here, okay? So at point A, I will have the price equal to P1, and I'll have the corresponding quantity equal to Q1. Then I will have another point. So point B here, okay? So at point B, I will have the price equal to P2, and then the quantity corresponding to P2 will equal to Q2. So I will just write it down here, okay? So point A, I have P1, Q1, and point B, I will have P2, Q2. So I would like to say, move from A to B. Move from A to B, what happens? Price decrease right the price decrease and quantity demand increase okay because if the price decrease from p1 to p2 then we can have the quantity demand increase from q1 to q2 so on the contrary we would like to say move from b to a move from B to A, we will have the price increase. However, quantity demand decrease. Okay, so now from here, you might notice it has some hint here. Only its old price can cause the quantity demand changes, okay? So I would like to write down a conclusion here. Only its old price changes Only its old price changes The quantity demand would change And there is one thing I want to emphasize here. You can notice here I use an, a word called move, right? Move, move, okay? So we will move along this demand curve. We will only have one demand curve here. So only its old price changes. It will cause the quantity demand change, okay? So that would talk about the quantity demand changes. Now, let's talk about another case. So this another case here will be the change in demand, okay? So similarly, I can draw a demand curve, okay? I will have the quantity on the horizontal axis and price on vertical axis. I still have our demand curve. I can mark it as D d1 okay then i want to find out one point on this demand curve so still point a here okay so point a i will have the price equal to p1 and then the corresponding quantity demand equal to q1 and would like to say there may, might be other things happens so for example if your preferences changes so you now like to buy more of those products. Then even the price of the product doesn't change. But because of your preferences changes, it might shift this demand curve either to the left hand side or to the right hand side. So for example, if I have another new points here, point B, okay? 
So at point B, you can notice A and B, they have the same price, right? Or at P1, but point B, I will have the quantity correspondent here equal to Q2. So how can we move, shift from A to B? Then we will have a new demand curve, okay? So here we will have the new demand curve. I will mark it as D2, okay? So I will just write it down. Point A, we still have P1, Q1, but here at the point B, we have P1 with a new demand, Q2, okay? Then I would like to write it one sentence here. Shift from A to B. Shift from A to B. Price is the same, okay? Price is unchanged or price is the same. However, demand increase shift from a to b we can notice the price is the same however at this point now demand increase shift from b to a price is still the same right price is still the same but we have a uh, lower demand so we would like to say then demand decrease so look at this key point here shift from a to b because now we have two demand curves rather than one demand curve right shift from a to b price is the same but demand increase shift from B to A, price is still the same, then demand decrease. So what does it mean? We can make a conclusion here. The change in demand, the change in demand is caused by other non-price determinants. Such as income level, maybe your expectations, your preferences changes. Then even the price doesn't change, it will shift the demand curve. Okay, so here, when we talk about a distinguish in the changes in quantity demand and changes in demand, you will notice from our graph, changes in quantity demand only have one demand curve. So here we only have one demand curve. But the changes in demand, we have at least more than one demand curves, right? more than one demand curves. Okay, so this is how we explain the changes in demand and the changes in quantity demand. Hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.